All right, everybody, let's have a look at Dartpad, which is the online IDE that we're going to be using to execute our Dart code and compile it within a browser. On the left hand side, when you load it up for the first time, you're going to see your main function. This will have some base template code that we're going to remove. We'll also see a HTML and CSS tab. This is for if you're using Dart for um, as a web server and you'd like to view web content. We're not going to be using it for this tutorial, however. On the right hand side, you can see your console tab, which outputs whatever your Dart program outputs. Now to start with, what we're going to do is basically have a look at the main function. Now the main function is the most important function in Dart, you could say, because it serves as the entry point and determines where our application will start execution. The function body consists of whatever we want it to. For example, we could type print and then hello world in order to execute and output hello world. So let's hit run. And you'll see that hello world prints on the right hand side. Now let's talk about variables. Now variables must have a given type in Dart. Let's have a look at a few. We'll start with removing this. And we'll type string as that's a type of variable and we'll call a variable named name and within it we'll define John. Below it we can print and say hello and then reference the variable within the print statement. Alternatively we can also do a print and then within the same block here we can reference the variable with a dollar sign in order to reference it within our string. We can run this code. And it looks like we have an error. Let's work out where we went wrong. Ah, right there. I need to put a plus sign to indicate that I want to concatenate the name with the hello there. So now let's rerun this. And we should see hello John. Let's have a look at some more complex expressions with the string, for example. So what we'll do is we'll delete these and we'll leave John there. We'll add an int, age, 28. We now have an integer value that we want to add to our string to print. I need to put an equal sign here too. Say we want to go print, hello. We'll print the name. And then say that we want to do some form of expression within this print statement. We can actually do that. And in order to do that, what we'll do is we'll go open bracket. Then we'll reference a, a arithmetic call where we'll take age and multiply it by two. We'll add a year old. And then we'll close off our string parentheses and we'll hit run. And what we should see is, hello John, 56 years old. As we've done this arithmetic call within in line with this function here and then printed it out. Now Dart is a statically typed language and it enforces type correctness. This means you can't do something like assign an integer to a string, for example. I'll show you what I mean. Delete this code and we'll say string name is equal to 10. Dart won't let us do this. As it says, we can't assign this type here because it's not a string to a string variable. This might seem like a limitation, but it enforces type safety and reduces a lot of headaches later on when you're writing bigger, more complex applications because it forces people to conform to a certain standard. Now, statically typed languages, they're a little bit lenient. Dart will actually let you, uh, Dart will let you define a variable and it will infer what type of variable it is if you use the var declare. So if we go var there instead, Dart will work out that that is actually an integer and turn name into an integer variable, which is cool. So then we can go print, hi, and name. And Dart will interpret that as an integer and then allow us to print it. Next, however, we'll talk about one of the limitations of a statically typed language, and that is that once this variable here has been typed as an integer, we can't assign it another type of variable. So for example, we can't go 
say we call this name, for example, we'll call it John again. We can't say name is equal to 10 because name already has the variable type string and we're trying to assign an integer to the string. So this won't compile. Now there are a few other primitives that we do have available. Uh, we've got int as we've already talked. This is a number. We've got double, um, which we could give a double value is equal to basically a decimal number, floating point. We have booleans, so is true, is equal to true. <laughs> and as we've already looked at, we have strings, which we can assign a string value. We also have access to uh, lists or arrays, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. We can also use this thing called dynamic typing in Dart. Despite being statically typed, Dart actually offers a way to deal with values whose concrete type is only known at runtime. So for example, if you make a response to a web server and get back an integer, Dart can assign that a type of dynamic and then it is able to handle that for you. So for example, we can go dynamic value is equal to test value is equal to 3.14. And in this case, it will actually work. And we can assign that value or that dynamic value any different variable and it will just reassign what type it actually is. Now, special care needs to be taken when assigning dynamic values. Back to sort of strictly typed variables, um, as we'll be covering how to correctly interpret dynamic values later in the course. Um, but one thing I do need to, to say is that Dartpad is still on version one. So this example will behave a little bit differently to the interpreter that you use um, in the Flutter course. Um, so for example, uh, this here, int number value, print number, while this example works in Dart, uh, Dart 1, which is what we're using in this interpreter, when you move on to Dart 2 and you start to work with lists in this sort of fashion, you'll find that the interpreter doesn't allow you to do this uh, because they're trying to make the language more statically typed. So basically just be aware. Uh, another, next thing we'll talk about is the default value of a primitive, so an integer or a double or a bool, is always explicitly null unless, it's ex unless you've initialized it explicitly. Um, so what I mean by that is if we get rid of everything in this block and we go int value, but we don't assign it and then we try to print the value, Dart will explicitly define that as null, sorry, Dart will define that as null because we didn't explicitly initialize it. So that's quite important because some languages will just outright crash um, with variables not assigned, but it is always assigned null if nothing is explicitly assigned to it. All values in Dart are mutable if no access or modifiers are actually supplied. Uh, so in practice, this means that a variable can, or variable's value can change at runtime. So let's go through an example. And this might seem obvious, but it means that we can reassign this variable name during the program's execution at runtime. And I just thought I'd mention that that is basically mutability in a nutshell. Um, the, we can actually use keywords though that stops us from being able to change the, um, the outcome or, or the accidental change of a variable. And that is using the keyword final. So for example, we could go final string name is equal to John. Then we could set the name equal to Frank and try to print it. But we'll find out that we're actually getting an error saying that name can't be used as a setter because it's final. Um, and that basically means that the compiler will make sure that a final variable can only be set once, which is similar to the const variable, which we'll talk about now. So a const variable can be used when a value is known at compile time and is constant. So it means that we can't, we typically won't be able, we won't be able to set it within the program uh, to anything other than its constant value. I'll give you an example to make this, make this, more, make, to make, this make more sense. <laughs> so we could have const gravity is equal to 9.8. 807, then print gravity. Gravity is a constant, so if we go and try to do gravity is equal to 10, for example, we're getting an error because constant variables cannot be reassigned a value because they have to be assigned 
prior to compile, or they have to be assigned at compile time, or prior before compile time, I should say. And that pretty much covers everything in the basic uh, variables, parameters, and type uh, lecture. So in the next lecture, we're going to go through functions and how we can use them within Dart. So I'll see you there.